My name is Nick Apshi, and I am a support scientist in the Support and Applications Group, part of Roche's Sequencing and Life Sciences Division. Ribosomal RNA accounts for over about 90% of all RNA species in cells. It becomes pretty essential to remove that uh, in order to get better sequencing coverage and more, uh, more coverage in your specific transcripts of interest. Uh, basically, you don't want to waste extra sequencing space on reads that aren't of interest. This is often accomplished uh, in a bead-based pull-down where beads specifically hybridize to the polyadenylated species and pull out uh, just the mRNA of interest. This has some drawbacks, however, in that it's limited to high-quality total RNA. Therefore, it's not a good application if you're working with more degraded RNA samples, such as from FFPE. Another way of going about this is through the direct depletion of ribosomal RNA. Many workflows accomplish this through a bead-based approach. However, uh, another method relies on the enzymatic depletion of ribosomal RNA. Specifically, this is the approach we take with our kappa riboerase workflow, where we have designed complementary DNA oligonucleotides that are then hybridized to the rRNA species. This complement is then directly depleted using RNASH. As compared to a bead-based pull-down of mature mRNA species, the direct depletion of ribosomal RNA enables you to retain a more complete transcriptome, since non-coding RNAs and precursor mRNA species are retained. Generally, enzymatic our RNA depletion is more efficient compared to bead-based methods. It's also a better option when working with lower input and degraded samples. There are certain situations where a more customized approach to ribosomal RNA depletion might be required. Uh, specifically, most kits, our riboerase kit included, are designed with a focus on human, mouse, and rat species. However, depending on a customer's application, they might be working with other organisms, such as bacteria, yeast, or plant. And in that case, uh, a more customized approach is needed, specifically because the oligos in the kit are not going to be homologous with their input material. This directly led us into a recent collaboration with a, uh, a close customer, and we worked with them to help them design their own uh, DNA oligonucleotides, specifically for bacteria RNA. And uh, they were able to, with minimal optimization, just take these new oligos, put them into our workflow, and uh, proceed forward. And, and they were able to get highly efficient RNA depletion.